Hey guys, TC here from the Christian Gaming Channel bringing you a brand new episode of Super Mario 3D World. When we last left off, we completed the track that, you know, completed the Bullet Bill Express. Not too big of a challenge. But now we're going to head on to the next world and we are going to have a bit of trouble getting there, unfortunately. This game has a thing for corks. Anyways, we're going to ignore that and see if there's anything else we need to see. And there isn't, so without further ado, let's go on to a banquet with Histocrat. And to make it even better, we're going to play as Luigi. Because Luigi can easily cheap out this fight, so it's going to be fun. That never hurts to have a spare power up. But I'm gonna... That's the pause button. There we go. That's the minus button. The Tanuki suit is going to be extremely overpowered for this use case. Although I really do like this music. It's really nice. I love some good swing music. If I'm not mistaken, I could actually probably just about... Oh, okay, never mind. Apparently I was wrong about the cat suit. I mean, not the cat suit, the tanuki suit being overpowered. That's a shame. Anyways, the basic idea with this boss, as you've already seen by now probably, is that rocks will fall out of the sky and you have to hop on top of these plates in order to jump on top of the boss while avoiding the, the uh, enemies who are trying to bite you. Nothing too hard, it's easy to figure out on your own. Get our star, and keep on getting more coins. It still technically is easier to play this boss fight as Luigi because he has superior trump height, which means you really don't need too much of a boost to actually get to the top of that boss. I see you down there. There we go. And top of the flagpole. I mean, this game has fairly decent boss variety, I'd say. Far better than the later new Super Mario Brothers games. DS did it well. You had unique boss fights, and then New Super Mario Bros. Wii had the Koopalings. At the time, that was actually pretty novel, to have the Koopalings as a boss fight. Then after that, they became really generic and just your go-to boss for Nintendo to use. Bit of a shame, but what are you gonna do? Anyways, let's head into this pipe. And, if you look towards that rock that's to the right of the Toad House, you will see a hidden Luigi. Why he's hiding back there, I have no clue, but we'll leave him alone. If he's hiding, he obviously doesn't want to be found. Anyways, we'll hop into Ant Trooper Hill. And let's give Toad a shot, shall we? Cat Toad. Get to play Sonic the Hedgehog again. That was extremely close to dying. Thank the lord we didn't. More cat bells, more points. You gotta wonder, are these ant troopers actually working for Bowser, or are they just, you know, there? One of those questions you gotta wonder about sometimes, I suppose. Oh, 
That's just embarrassing. Um, I would like that star in just a moment. After I get this star. Then I'll collect this star. And get some lives. Hopefully. And you can't kill the giant ants for some reason. I've never fully understood why, but we can't. We have a star over there and some pipe. And we have a pipe over here. Grab you and dive. Yeah, that's one game I haven't really seen too much of, actually. Outside of the 3DS, and I think there was a game on the Nintendo DS, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Steel Diver? I know, I think it's a Nintendo property, you just don't see too much of it, honestly. I don't quite remember what's down this hole, but we're gonna go, go for it anyways because why not? No, it's just coins. Okay. No big deal. Gather these last two and go into the pipe. Now, do I want to give myself insurance because Toad's jump height is kind of awful? Hey, I made it! Look at that, he finally made it without a power-up. And we get an Ant Trooper stamp for that. Nice. And more slot machines. I honestly don't bother with them because I don't need the extra lives. It's kind of pointless for me to go for it. I mean, I might show it off at some point, but... Probably not for a while. Unless I'm absolutely desperate to have extra lives. Which probably won't be for a while. Okay, so we have Piranha Creepers right here. They sleep until you stomp on them. I mean, that makes sense. That's the plus button again. This is what I get for being rusty. The last episodes were kind of recorded in one setting. <laughs> so I haven't actually played on the gamepad in a while. Come on. Is there anything for getting rid of all of them? Or am I thinking of a later stage? Nope. Absolutely nothing. You know, that would have been cool if that actually worked, but it didn't. Okay, that was a bit of a mistake, but it still worked out. And got the star. I hope you guys are going to have a good week this week. I've got some stuff planned for my own self. Mostly looking for old coins and whatnot. Hopefully. Who knows? Yikes, okay. We're going to need the cat suit because I need to get into there. And I need to bop this guy. There we go. This will give me the stamp, and if I'm not mistaken, the star should be down here, although I don't remember. No, the star is not down here. But there's a coin box, which I guess is nice. Is 
Is it up here by chance? I know that star's around here somewhere, and I think that's an exit pipe. This pipe will lead you to the fifth world in the game, which is as nice as that would be to just bypass all of this. It's this let's play. We have to do everything. Or at least try to, anyways. Plus, we'd be missing out on a lot of fun levels. And who wants to do that? I don't feel like that should have counted. Oh well. Yeah, give myself the mushroom power up after I've already given the mushroom. Yeah, that worked out real well. Okay. It's gonna be marginally harder, but not too much, I'd hope. Yeah, not that hard at all. Okay, ideally I'd get a super leaf or a cat suit. Let's just hope we get. It. Hey, that'll work perfectly. I'll always take air control. Not what I wanted to do, but it'll have to work. Uh-oh. Well, the leaf lasted long enough to help me. Please don't. Okay, that worked. Okay, long jump. Okay. <laughs> Whew. I was a little worried there for a second. learned something in this past week and that is sometimes when you're going through trouble you can't exactly blame you know others for it instead sometimes it's your own self that caused the issue I know that sounds completely off sounding but I don't exactly have the right words for it but what I'm trying to say is that Sometimes you're the cause of your own problems. I've figured that out myself. Because sometimes I overthink something and I end up stressing myself out over something that should I should not stress myself out over. And ultimately, I've just learned that you just gotta stop worrying about things and just trust that God's gonna take care of it. And he does, without a doubt. It's just hard to let go sometimes, it really is. I've also found out, not related to what I just previously said, but related to the Toad House because I just saw it on screen. Toad Houses do not come back unless you game over. So if you have maximum lives and you visit all Toad Houses, they do not come back. Which is kind of sad, honestly. I just like seeing them on the maps. It makes it feel more lively. Jump! Okay, that was a little too close for comfort. One thing I not one nice thing I did notice though, if you look down at the background, I think that might be ground or that's just sky. I can't tell. Now that I'm actually looking at it. I originally thought it was ground, but it looks like sky, which means this is just floating up in the air. I mean it was anyways if that was ground, but even more ominously floating up in the air. Almost like space. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That was a little too close for comfort. That would have been nice if that was a super leaf. I mean, I, it's kind of inevitable to lose one.
does this count as a hidden Luigi? Like, genuinely curious. What do you guys think about this? Should this Luigi background count as a hidden Luigi? Uh-oh. Mario, live! Live, Mario! Oh, man. Back down the one again. Back down to one again. There's a slim, and I mean slim, chance I might be able to rescue this. I don't think there is. Well, we'll have to come back and almost not die again. Wow, that was close. Player game like this could have existed on the Nintendo 64. Like I know there's a hack for Super Mario 64 called like Super Mario 64 Land, and it plays similar to this if I'm not mistaken. But it's single player as far as I'm aware. It'd be interesting to have a four-player simultaneous co-op on a 64 like that. Let's see, I missed exactly how many stars. I might have only missed a stamp. Okay, if I only missed a stamp, I don't care too terribly much about that. Sorry if I was a little quiet there, I had to focus. That is one, two, three, plus I think a fourth and a hammer bro. Let's see. Yep. Okay. This episode is getting kind of lengthy, at least by modern YouTube standards. So I think I'll leave it off there. We've got about four-ish levels to go. Oh, that said, thank you guys for watching this episode. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.